Mahjong is a Chinese tile game that requires critical thinking and social intelligence. If you want to learn how to play, watch this game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. With Hong Kong Mahjong, it's really the easiest way to learn. It's based on the original way to play the game, where you need to get four sets and a pair. And you have the freedom to choose what those are. Of course, you got to keep in mind if there's a minimum point for the people that you're playing with. When we do this exercise today, we're just going to say that it requires two fawn. Two fawn. And if you want to know what a fawn is, it's a scoring element. There's a link below the video to this player reference. Inside is a scoring table. So you can see how to score your hand. But you need to get four sets in a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. And then depending on the combination of those sets will be the value of your hand. So I'm going to focus on the five block method. This is a uh, strategy that Dana Chiba has written about for reach players, which is Japanese style, but the concept can apply to Hong Kong style. So let's get started. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. They're over here to the left and they've been built into walls. Because really when you're playing, you want to make decisions based on how many tiles are left in the wall and also the tiles that have been either discarded or exposed in a Pung, a Chow, or a Kong, which I'll explain as we go along. And also, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist if you want to watch that. It goes step by step through how to set up for a four player game. So we're going to say that this is going to be the East round. The game is played in rounds. So we'll say this is East round and I'm going to get 14 random tiles for East and then 13 for South, West and North. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. I'll put it on the left to indicate that they need to draw and I'll put it to the right so that I know they need to discard. It's really easy to forget where you're at and you can ruin the solitaire game if you forget um, because someone could end up with too many tiles or not enough tiles because you were all um, messed up on who needed to draw or discard. So left means you need to draw, right means you need to discard. So we're going to discard first for East. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down there. I hope that makes sense. So we'll see how this goes. This is kind of a new thing for me because I keep messing up this picking and discarding <clears throat> when you're playing four hands at once. It can get very complicated, but it's great practice. So let's get started. Everybody has their tiles. So let's look and see what we can do for East. I'm going to turn this just a little bit. Okay. For East, we have three dots, five cracks, three bams and some honors. We do have some chow potential here. There's a one, two, three, and then a pair of fives. That's actually a chow right there. One, two, three. Any pair could be a potential pung, which is a three of a kind. So if we need two fawn, a half flush, which is one suit with honors is three fawn. So I think what I would do 
is I would hold all the cracks, but I think I'll also hold these honors. We have four terminals. Terminals are ones and nines. We could maybe even try to play 13 orphans, which is one of each wind and dragon, one of each one and nine, and any tile paired. So I think what I'm gonna do here is focus on cracks with honors with a potential for 13 orphans. 13 orphans is a max hand. It's called a limit hand. Uh, so I think we could start by discarding maybe the two dot get rid of these right here. Let's see if we can get them to a half flush. So let's look at what South can do. No flowers. Flowers are just bonus points. For South, we have four dots, two cracks, four bams, and some honors, but they have their seat wind. This is South. Each player sits at a, at a direction. The dealer is east. The player to the right is south. The player to the right of south is west. And then right of west is north. East, south, west, north. If you get a pung, a three of a kind of your seat wind, you get a fawn for that. So we have a pair of south. This is a potential pung, which will give them some score. So I think we should try for either a half flush with bams or dots and probably the bams is stronger because they already have two potential chows so i say actually you know what we could do we could play we need two fawn a pung of south is one fawn if we did all chows that's no score chows are no, have no score unless the entire hand is chows with a pair in this case that's not going to happen because maybe we're going to get a pung of honors which are winds and dragons so if we did all three in a sequence here these basically would all be valueless that would be the only value we need two fawns so we would need to come up with another fawn right now they have no flowers which is a fawn, but the minute they draw a flower, that goes away. I think I would start by discarding this three dot, and then we could hold the chow potential. If we can get here fast enough and chow these tiles before we draw a flower, we could get that two fawn minimum, but it is a race against the wall when you play that way because that no flower fawn can go away in one pick. So let's just see what happens. We can start by discarding this three dot. Let's see what we can do for West. They have a flower. This is a four flower. This is seat three though. West is three. East is one, south is two, west is three, and north is four. This is a four flower, which is north's seat flower. And we're going to expose that to the right and take a replacement from the back of the wall. So we have their replacement here. Wow, they have a lot of dots. I think we should have them play half flush with dots. Get rid of these. Okay, let's see what North can do. Oh, pair of green dragons. That is a potential pung, and a pung of dragons is a fawn. I think we should have them play a half flush with dots. Dots and honors. They only have four discards, four discards. This hand is a mess. This hand has about six discards, depending on which way we go. So let's discard a two dot for East. All right, I'm gonna have to move this over because we need to have room for exposures. Okay, and discards to the right. And I'll show you that as we go along. Okay, so I hope you can see this okay. 
All right, now we're gonna draw for south. Six band, that's a good tile if they're gonna try to get to a half flush. So we're gonna now discard this three dot. So that is south. We're gonna draw for west, white dragon. So we need to discard. White dragon will help them get to a half flush. Let's get rid of these tiles over here. Let's go ahead and discard the one crack. That would be for west. We're gonna draw for north, eight crack. Okay, we need, we need dots. So let's discard this two bam. They're in the same predicament as south where they have chow potential with a scoring a potential scoring element for their honor all right let's see what happens we're going to draw for east seven crack okay that's good i'm going to put this over here to remind me to discard so now we can discard these safely it looks like cracks and honors are gonna be the, the way to go for East. So we're gonna discard an eight bam. And nobody can take an eight bam, so we're gonna draw four South. We need to discard. They got a bam, which is nice because we need bams in here. They have a potential chow here, potential chow here, Potential chow here, potential pung. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five blocks. It's best to not be waiting to win on an honor. If we can draw more bams, of course, we'd be in a better situation. Let's go ahead and discard the six dot because maybe all these chows will come in. There actually is a chow right there. So let's discard for south and draw for west. They drew a west. That is their seat wind right there. South has theirs, west has theirs. They just need to pung. So now we need to discard. Let's go ahead and discard the seven crack. And we can draw for north. One crack, that's already been thrown. So we discarded four north. We're gonna draw four east. Okay, five bam. Let's just discard it. Now, this player up here, player two, I think we should go ahead and chow right here, three, four. So there's a chow for south. We're gonna discard these over here, two crack. We'll draw four west. Five crack, that is a discard. We need dots. So west has discarded, we're gonna draw four north. Nine bam, nine bam. We don't need any of that. Let's get rid of the nine bam. It's really good to get rid of honors early. Honors includes terminals, which are ones and nines because somebody could be playing a big hand with honors and terminals. Let's draw for east. Seven bam. Now they have a pair in here. I still think we're closer to cracks. I think I'm gonna discard the seven bam. And we're gonna draw for south. South can chow. They now have two chows out. And we need to, of course, discard. We need to discard for them. Now we're going to have them play a half flush, so we need to get rid of all these tiles here. They need to chow here and pung here. This maybe could be their pair, which is a bit risky because people tend to hold on to dragons because they bring score. And as you can see in these other players' hands, we have dragons. That's why you don't wanna be waiting on a pair with an honor. We wanna draw another 
BAM tile and get rid of that or use it as a pung, but in this case there's only one. You cannot do that with a single honor tile with only one exception, and that's 13 orphans, where you have one of each wind and dragon, one of each one and nine, and then any one of those tiles paired. That's the only time you can use single honors. So we need to discard, we're gonna discard this three crack for south, and we're gonna draw for west. White dragon, oh my gosh, that's a nice tile right there. And Epung of dragons is a, is a fawn all by itself. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five blocks. We don't need this tile here and we don't need these tiles here. So let's go ahead and discard the nine bam. And we can draw four north eight bam that's not helpful we need dots let's go ahead and discard the five bam actually no let's discard the eight bam because we could use this as a potential chow five six here's a seven eight that's one block five six is a block that two is isolated we have five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five blocks. They have five blocks, but no score. They actually, they do have no flowers right now. So we, we just discarded the eight BAM for them. I would still like to see them get to a half flush. We'll just have to see what happens or pung that green dragon. So let's draw for east. Seven bam again. We're gonna discard it and draw four south. Four crack, that is a discard. And we can draw four west. Now west drew a seven crack. That's not gonna be helpful for them at all. So we'll discard that and draw four north. Okay, they just got a one bam. The one bam is not gonna be helpful to them. So we're gonna go ahead and discard that. And draw for east. Four crack is a keeper. We need to discard, so I'm gonna put that over there. And we can now go ahead and give up on the 13 orphans idea. All these single honors are not helpful. But let's block out these numbered tiles. So we could do one, two, three, four, five, five, seven. We need to pair these up or draw more cracks. Now we could split this all up. This There's a lot of chow and even a pone, pung potential here. So let's just see what happens. Let's go ahead and get rid of the seven bam. And we can draw four south. Bam, nice. They needed that badly. So at this point, they have two chows out. Three, four, five. Let's get rid of the scary bam, um, tiles right here and be left with bams. So I'm gonna throw the green dragon and we're gonna draw for west, but north can pung it. So we're going to pung for north. They have two fawn right now because they have no flowers and a pung of dragons. So we now can either focus on dots and honors, in which case we have four discards, and these are all isolated, or we can do all chows, we would need a pair in here somewhere. I think if we have a one pung out, that's one block. Let's just say two, three, four. We really do not need these. There are two, seven, three, seven BAMs out. So the chances of getting that seven BAM 
is going to be slim to none. And then the four BAM perhaps could come in, but we really don't need this many chows. We've already got a pung up there and we only need four sets in a pair. So let's go ahead and discard the six BAM. So six BAM discard and nobody can take that. So we're going to draw for east. Oh, they got a north. That could help them get to a half flush. So at this point, we have to give up on this 13 orphan idea. Let's get rid of the one BAM. That was a fun idea though. We can draw four south now. Three BAM. That was a really good pick for them. So they have two chows out. Here's another potential chow, another potential chow in a pair, or they could pung that and get score. Here's a chow and this could be their pair. That's the way I hope to go because they can get score for that. Let's go ahead and discard this eight dot for south. And now we're going to draw for west. So they're going to need to discard. We have a one crack. This one crack is not at all helpful. Not at all. Now, as far as blocks, they have one, two, three, four, five. We do not need that south. And again, it's good to get rid of your valuable tiles as early as possible if you know you don't need them. So I'm going to discard the south for west, hoping that nobody's ready for it. And in this case, south is ready for it. So we're going to claim that for a pung. And then we're going to discard this nine dot. And they are ready to win on either a five BAM or a two BAM. So this is a really strong position for South. All right, we're going to draw for West. Now up here, you could see a seven, eight. You cannot take a chow tile from the player across from you. You can only take a chow player from the player on your left. In this case, the player to the left of North is West. So we're going to draw for West. They drew a nine BAM. The nine BAM has been thrown several times. So we're going to discard that and we'll draw for north. Oh, that was a good keeper right there. Four, bam, or four dot. That is brilliant because now we have a pung of green dragons. So that's one block, two, three, four, and then we need a pair. Potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. And these are both side weights, meaning we can get a tile for either side, we could get a six dot or a nine dot there. Here we could get a four dot or a seven dot. Here we could even move these tiles around and use them. This is a really nice position here. We just need to get rid of these tiles and draw more dots. So we're going to discard that five bam and draw for, wait, that's Mahjong right here, Mahjong. Mahjong for West. Oh, that's the wrong one. Or Mahjong for, oops, that is Mahjong for South. So they have a two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Pung South, pair of fives. One, two, three, four sets in a pair. This would be a half flush plus the pung of seat wind. So this would be a four fawn and they have no flowers. So that's five fawn, five fawn for South. So that's how you play Hong Kong Mahjong in its simplest form. That's the way the game came to America in the 20s. Four sets and a pair. Three in a sequence for a chow. Three of a kind for a pung. You just need to gather until you have a good, strong potential to win. And then you say mahjong. It's so much fun. 
I hope you give it a try. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Watch that video if you want to learn more about Hong Kong Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.